Joining me now from Atlanta, former congressman and Clinton impeachment manager, former CIA analyst and former U.S. attorney Bob Barr. Barb, let's go back to the releasing of these transcripts by Adam Schiff. How nice of him to do that. By the way, he did not release the transcript of the deposition of Ambassador Volcker. And uh, I would like to see that because presumably uh, it didn't fit his narrative quite so well. And so here he is once again. You just heard him speak. He's controlling the sound bites. He's controlling the narrative. He's telling the mainstream media what they're going to find in, in these depositions, what they're going to find in, in the transcripts. He's already still trying to control the narrative. And by releasing these two, he's trying to control the narrative. But as an attorney, you also know that a transcript is very different, reading a transcript on paper, very different than having a live witness that you can watch, that the American people can watch and see for themselves whether they trust this person, whether they believe this person. There are uh, all kinds of pauses, right, Counselor, that are not reflected in, in deposition transcripts. All kinds of things that, that we, the people, never got to see, and apparently we never will. There's a very good reason why our Bill of Rights, for example, includes a provision that a person accused of a crime has an absolute right to confront their witnesses, uh, those witnesses against them. Uh, and you put your finger on the exact reason. Reading a transcript can be very sterile. Uh, it does not tell you anything about the body language, the nuances, the tone, and so forth, which uh, you get from actually listening to the person. And this notion that Schiff has concocted that, well, we held these in secret and now we're going to release parts of them so that you can see what we saw is nonsense. It doesn't work that way. And it's why an impeachment process needs to be and always has been conducted fully in the public eye so that the public can see exactly those nuances that you never can get from simply reading a transcript, which is a piece of paper. What we say on television sometimes, or at least I say, is sometimes what's not said is very important. And again, transcripts do not reveal what's, what's not said, as you pointed out, body language, things that can't be reflected uh, on a piece of paper. But uh, you, of course, were right in the middle, and you helped manage the Clinton impeachment in 1998. So here's my question to the Democrat leadership on Capitol Hill. When they passed this resolution that set up the rules that are clearly one-sided and uh, limit the ability of the Republicans to mount a defense on behalf of the President of the United States and absolutely shut out the White House in this process, um, why didn't the Democrat leadership simply take your set of rules that you passed in 1998 for the impeachment process and inquiry of Bill Clinton. Why didn't they just take this package, counselor, and repackage it for 2019 and vote on it? I think we know the answer, don't we? We, we clearly do, and it's because what the Democrats are doing now, as opposed to what we did in 1998, is they are mounting a purely partisan political attack on the president. Back in 1998, as you and your many viewers will recall, uh, we had the Star Report, the Independent Counsel Report, that came to the House pursuant to the law that Ken Starr was required to follow to send that to the House. We took that. The House passed an inquiry of impeachment that was very simple. It said, this goes to the Judiciary Committee, which is the only committee in the House that has explicit jurisdiction over impeachment. It went to that committee and it said, we're going to have fairness here. Republicans and Democrats have equal access to witnesses and questioning. And from that point forward, we held a series of open hearings in which the public could see what the evidence was that President Clinton had, in fact, committed serious crimes and what the defenses that the Democrats were raising. The reason very clearly and very simply why Nancy Pelosi is using Adam Schiff and the special powers to hold hearings in secret that the House Intelligence Committee has is because they don't want the American public to see what a sham this is. What they've done is they picked one phone call out of the thousands and thousands of phone calls that this president has engaged in since January of 2017 and 
taken the views second, third, and fourth hand of various people that disagree with his policies and have constructed this mountain out of what was not even a molehill in the first place. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.